Agriculture has come a long way over the years, and the machines that we use to farm the land are more efficient and streamlined than ever. Yet growing fruit and vegetables has never been easier, and all thanks to the wonders of modern technology. And with even more scientific breakthroughs happening every day, the only way is up. Who knows what incredible machine might come along and shake up the farming industry next? From the biggest combine harvester in the world to an indoor farm that is entirely run by robots, these are the 15 most amazing agriculture machines ever made. I didn't develop this crop cart just with right off the principle, the same principle they use in their even flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lemkin Diamant Plow System This plower is perfect for the job, and it's also pretty pleasing to the eye. Yeah, the Lemkin Diamant Plow System slices right through the earth to create beautiful, fresh soil that's ready for planting. We could watch this amazing machine glide through the fields forever. Combined with John Deere tractors, this state-of-the-art plowing system has nine sharp scissors and hydraulic adjustments allowing the machine to dig deep grooves into the land with ease. Its top-of-the-line maneuverability mechanism allows it to work at many different lengths, and it can even be driven safely on the roads at high speeds. That's right, no more sitting behind slow, bulky farm equipment on country roads. The Lemkin saves money, is long-lasting, and can work in a wide range of weather conditions. It's such an iconic piece of farm machinery that you can even find it on the best-selling video game, Farm Simulator 15. Yeah, this bright blue machine is an agricultural celebrity. No wonder it costs over $35,000. Hey, just think of it as an investment. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Sputnik Potato Processor Come on, who doesn't love potatoes? You can boil them, mash them, and put them in a stew. Yeah, potatoes have unlimited potential when it comes to cooking a delicious meal, and that's why they're our all-time favorite vegetable. Sputnik equipment, founded back in 1958 and located in Idaho, are bringing potatoes to the dinner table more efficiently than ever with their amazing potato processor. Just look at this thing go. It can dig up potatoes, sugar beets, and other root vegetables, and even separates the rocks and the taters as they go. Smart, right? The Sputnik Aircept can harvest between 400 and 450 acres a day, taking care not to bruise the potatoes in the process. Doing the work of up to four people, this ingenious device takes away the need to hire special rock pickers just to make sure no stones end up in your sack of spuds. Well, you can't mash a rock now, can you? Used for roughly three weeks out of the year during the annual potato harvest, this mega machine can cost as much as $350,000. Yeah, this thing is expensive, but you can't put a price on unlimited potatoes. Just think of all those fries. <laughs> Agricultural drones. It's official, drones are taking over the world, or at least the world of technology, that is. Yet we've seen drones used for everything from photography, filmmaking, and even delivering our mail. But did you know that they are also being utilized for farming too? Agricultural drones are the future. They can be used for increasing crop production by monitoring growth, detecting irrigation problems, and even spying outbreaks of diseases like blight. Yet this little flying machine sees it all. They can even spray crops with herbicide, reducing the chances of chemical poisoning and covering around 10 hectares per hour. Drones like the DJI Agras T16 are leading the way with powerful hardware that is capable of so much more than just hovering around in the sky. These incredible drones have radars that can navigate difficult terrain, even in the dark, as well as HD video transmission that can be controlled via an app. Farmers put down your spades and pick up your smartphones. They charge in just 20 minutes and they can be folded up and packed in the trunk of a car. How convenient is that? It's predicted that the drone market will be worth over $12 billion by 2021, so we expect to see a lot more flying farmers like this one. Welcome to the future of agriculture. <laughs> Self-driving tractor. Some industry experts are calling this extraordinary machine the most productive tractor ever made. We're of course talking about the Monarch self-driving tractor, the first fully electric autonomous smart tractor. You've heard of self-driving cars, but have you heard about this sleek and futuristic self-driving tractor? Farming has never looked so glamorous, but it's not all about looks with this awesome machine. This sustainable technology can make farms much more profitable and is good for the environment too. 
Monarch is saving the planet one field at a time. Hundreds of farmers have already invested in the state-of-the-art technology, which can be controlled via your smartphone. It even gives you micro weather updates, and it has 360-degree cameras that can monitor its surroundings from every angle. And it has collision prevention installed too. No wonder it won 2020 Tractor of the Year. One of these epic tractors will set you back about 50,000 US dollars, but just think of all that money you could save on fuel. Totally worth it. <laughs> Spinach email. Next time you check your inbox, you might just find an email from a certain leafy green. No, we're not making this one up. Scientists have really taught spinach how to send an email. Why, you may ask? Well, it's actually for a very good reason. Researchers have found that they can add tiny nanobionic sensors to plants like spinach so they can detect explosives and other toxic chemicals under the ground. Their roots come in contact with deadly substances like arsenic and then can communicate with the leaves to set off an alert. This signal is then detected by an infrared camera, which triggers an email to be sent off to the research lab. Pretty amazing, right? We're a long way off from spinach sending us newsletters or inviting us out for coffee, but these emails are being described as the bridge between human and plant communication. And not only have scientists invented this incredible software, but they're also figuring out how to use nanotechnology to turn spinach, which is abundant in iron and nitrogen, into batteries and fuel cells. Wow, no wonder Popeye ate so much of this stuff. <laughs> Agrobot. From bitter spinach to delicious sweet berries. Strawberries, to be exact. This delicate fruit has always required the most gentle handling in order to get it from the farm to your fruit bowl in one piece. This precise work requires a lot more hard work and effort than you might imagine. If a strawberry is picked too early, its delicious sweet taste is lost. But if you pick it even a day too late, it can become too mushy and bruising can cause the berry to be ruined during packaging. Sounds like a pretty stressful job, right? Luckily, the Agrobot is here to save the day. Yet, yet again, robots are coming to the rescue, and this time it's so we can enjoy the perfect strawberry. Someone pass the whipped cream. <laughs> the Agrobot can carefully pick strawberries by their stems using two sharp blades. Using digital cameras to inspect each berry individually, Agrobot knows exactly the right moment to pluck the fruit. Not only is it exact, but it can harvest around 20 acres of fruit in just three days. It takes one person to operate the Agrobot, but this amazing agriculture machine can do the work of 30 fruit pickers. And before you worry about the robots coming to steal our jobs, you might be relieved to learn that there's actually a shortage of farm workers in the industry, and machines like the Agrobot are filling in the gaps. So, more strawberries for everybody. Cranberry Harvester Did you know that these incredible cranberry harvests can be seen from space? Yeah, we all love to eat cranberry sauce with our turkey dinners at Thanksgiving, but we bet most people had no idea that these bright red berries actually grew in the water. That's right, delicious tangy cranberries grow on vines in wetlands and bogs, the largest of which are located in the US, Canada, and Chile. The reason they're called cranberries is because their flowers, which bloom in June, actually look like a crane bird. You learn something new every day. Harvesting occurs between September and October, and that's when this nifty cranberry harvesting machine rolls in. With a large spindle that resembles an egg beater, this amazing piece of equipment can reach under the water and shake the vines until the berries float up to the surface. They're then raked into gigantic vacuums and sucked up into a truck, ready to head to the factory and be turned into delicious sauces and fruit juices. In fact, the Ocean Spray Company actually harvests 220 billion cranberries a year this way, producing around 88 million cans of cranberry sauce and 220 million bottles of juice. We don't know about you, but we just got a sudden craving for roast turkey. <laughs> biggest Combine Harvester in the World Yeah, as of the year 2020, this is the biggest combine harvester in the world. We're talking about the Class Lexion 8900, a monster machine so epic that it's made manufacturer class the market leader in Europe. It's a grain tank and it can hold a whopping 18,000 liters and takes less than two minutes to empty. With state-of-the-art field scanning technology to map its route, this humongous harvester is the future of farming. Agriculture just got a whole lot more awesome. Processing entire fields with ease, the Lexion 8900 is every farmer's dream. Just 200 years ago, around 90% of the US population was working on farms. 
but the invention of the combine harvester really changed everything. Now only 2% of Americans work the land, leaving the machines to do all the hard work, cutting, threshing, and cleaning the grains all in one go. Yet it's certainly less exhausting than using a scythe. <laughs> Vertical farms. The sky's the limit when it comes to farming. That's right, gone are the days of acres and acres of produce being grown on giant fields. The hottest new trend in agriculture is vertical farms. Yet these spectacular farms are basically towers of plants stacked on top of one another to make the most of the space available. These vertical structures can reach up to seven stories high and require 10 times less space than most regular farms. Often grown indoors under powerful LED lights, these incredible agricultural operations can be controlled in a sealed environment and what's even more amazing is that they don't even need soil to grow. Not only that, but they can use 90% less water than a traditional farm. Yet fresh vegetables can be grown 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. With 68% of all people predicted to live in large urban cities by the year 2050, these space-saving farms are expected to feed an ever-growing population using the latest technology. Research analysts even reckon that the vertical farm market is actually worth around $700 billion. That's a whole lot of carrots, guys. <laughs> Igloo greenhouses. In the Arctic, where it reaches 40 below zero on a regular basis, growing any kind of fresh produce has always proved to be a challenge. Until now, that is. In Nunavut, Canada, an amazing initiative has been started to help remote northern communities grow their own vegetables. The Arctic Research Foundation and Agri-Food Canada have launched an extraordinary project that will help scientists learn more about growing food in extreme conditions, as well as feeding a nation. This awesome igloo greenhouse is nicknamed Narvik, which means growing place in the local dialect. It's powered by wind and solar energy, making it totally renewable and sustainable. With 70% of households here dealing with moderate to high food insecurity, this epic high-tech greenhouse could prove to be a lifesaver. And now even the Canadian Space Agency are keen to getting involved with this phenomenal project, with the hopes that the Arctic greenhouse could actually help them learn how to grow food in space. Yet this research might actually teach scientists how to plant potatoes on another planet. It doesn't get much more futuristic than that. Solar-powered weed robot. Anyone who's ever pulled weeds will know that back-breaking work that is. And with more and more consumers purchasing fresh produce, someone's got to do the laborious task of keeping on top of all those weeds. Echo Robotics Autonomous Robot Weeder. Yeah, you heard us right. The new generation of farmers are in fact robots, and not just any old robots. These amazing agriculture machines are solar powered. With a set of impressive panels, this self-driving device can run all day just using the power of the sun. It has a series of high-tech cameras that allow it to target and spray weeds, using 90% less herbicides in the process. This amazing robot can spot weeds and then use two precise arms to tackle them, all thanks to the help of GPS sensors. It can be controlled using a smartphone app, but if you wanted to let this solar-powered robot get on with all by themselves, it has no problem positioning itself either. Pretty amazing, right? Weed Pulling Tank no, it's not a heavy-duty armored tank rolling through the fields. It's actually a state-of-the-art weed puller that's here to save the planet. Invented by Sebastian Boyer and Thomas Palomaris, the FarmWise Titan FT-35 is a self-driving tractor that weighs a whopping three tons. Having previously worked at MIT and Stanford Computer Science Labs, they founded FarmWise in the summer of 2016 with the dream of making farming more environmentally friendly and efficient. Starting off in California, this modern company is now expanding across the U.S. all thanks to their gigantic weed-pulling robot. Built as an alternative to aggressive farming techniques such as using pesticides, the Titan FT-35 uses machine learning to operate special cameras that can tell the difference between weeds and crops. It's so precise that it doesn't even disturb the growth of the crop when it pulls up the weeds. When it comes to organic farming, this mega machine is leading the way. And thanks to its computer expert inventors, this hard-working robot is only getting smarter and smarter. <laughs> Ted, the vineyard weeding robot. What would a life without vineyards be? We don't even want to think about it. Thankfully, robotics company Nayo Technologies are developing some seriously cool machines to make sure that those precious grapes keep on growing and that the wine keeps on flowing. That's right. 
Ted, the vineyard weeding robot, has a very important job. With more and more restrictions on harmful pesticides, Nayo invented this impressive machine to manually weed the vines with expert precision. Yeah, the last thing you want is weeds growing all over your vineyard, especially with millions of dollars worth of grapes at stake. Whether it's a Sauvignon Blanc or a Merlot, Ted is keeping this valuable fruit safe from pesky invasive weeds. It can even map the land without human assistance, with a little help from a drone that flies overhead and marks out the vineyard. This robot is changing the landscape of the wine industry, and we can't wait to see what other ways intelligent machines can make our wine taste even better than ever. We'll raise a toast to that. Iron Ox Robot Farm Okay, so more and more farmers are using robots to help them grow the best vegetables in the most efficient way possible. But what about a farm where the robots are in charge? That's exactly what the Iron Ox Robot Farm in San Carlos, California has achieved. Yet this fully autonomous farm is totally run by robots. Hey, who needs them anyway? This hydroponic indoor farm is operated by two high-tech robots who oversee the planting, maintenance, and finally the harvest of the produce. One of the robots weighs 1,000 pounds and is responsible for all the heavy lifting and transporting around the greenhouse. It's like the Terminator decided to retire and move to the country to start a farm. The second robot is a highly advanced arm that can do the smaller, more detailed tasks, such as seeding. These amazing robots work around the clock, and one acre of this farm can fill the same amount of crops of a 30-acre farm in the outside world. The Iron Ox Farm can use 90% less water, producing huge amounts of fresh, pesticide-free vegetables in a controlled environment. Yeah, one of these mind-blowing robot farms just might be coming to a city near you. Crone Swadro Rotary Rake 2000 And now it's time for our final most amazing agricultural machine ever made. This giant green machine is highly efficient, super fast, and looks awesome too. Just look at this piece of machinery glide over the land. Now that's satisfying. And it's even more pleasing to know that it's saving us humans from backbreaking work. Come on, who actually wants to rake their yard? Not us. We kind of wish we had a Crone Swadro Rotary Rake 2000 of our own. With six rotor rakes, this mega machine can cover a staggering 20 hectares an hour, slicing through a whopping 60 feet in one sweep. Yeah, this machine is the biggest rotary rake in the world, and every farmer has one of these bad boys on their wish list. The only drawback is finding a barn big enough to store this mammoth piece of equipment. So there you have it. There's no doubt about it. We are officially living in the future of farming. But which one of these amazing agricultural machines would you most like to give a test run? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.